Designing the captain and uh, the entire cast of the show, and uh, it's a great gig. I love it. How did you come fun. up with this concept? I mean, it's, it's awesome. I worked. Uh, I was working closely with a number of people, with uh, Paul and Dean, who are in charge of the revamp, and uh, started with a bunch of ideas, just incorporating flag elements, thinking about the other Canadian flag wearing superhero, Guardian or Vindicator from Alpha Flight. Um, also thinking a lot about Captain Britain, who I think is one of the best costume designs in comics. I mean, like the classic Alan Davis costume from the 80s. And, uh, just, and Captain America and the way they reinterpreted Captain America's costume, which has always been a classic uh, for the Ultimates in the early 2000s and kind of added some military, military ideas the way Brian Hitch kind of reinterpreted. So all of those things, Captain Britain, Captain America, Guardian Vindicator, I kind of tried to think about all of those things at once and tried to come up with ways of interpreting the shapes of the flag without making him look like an Olympic skier. And uh, I bounced stuff off the guys. They came back with some stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, um, the, shoulder, the shoulder maple leaves were important to me. I really like the way when Brian Hitch redesigned Captain America, he added stars on the shoulders. It's sort of a, a military element, like a rank. Uh, different from the usual way superhero symbols are put. And then this sort of shape, if you can sort of see as a giant maple leaf exaggerated, almost as if the bottom half, you can't see if it, if it were cut off around his body. So just using that, like the middle frond, left frond, right frond, trying to think of just the graphic shapes that are on the flag. Um, they wanted the batons. Um, I think the batons are cool. They add a bit of interest to the silhouette. They do, so he's going to be like a ninja. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the same, the maple leaf frond repeated on the helmet. The helmet is very uh, influenced by Captain Britain's helmet, which I think is, it's just an elegant, all-purpose superhero design. Oh, for works. sure. It's military, it's police, it's superhero, it's all of those things. And the side view, it looks like it comes up, yep, correct? exactly. That's an awesome job. Thanks, man. And are you also involved in the animation? Uh, not directly, no. Uh, other than just doing all the designs that then the animators have to, have to animate and then complain to me for all the details that they really wish I hadn't put in because it's a oh, lot of work. I think the Maple Leafs are going to be the most difficult to well, animate. Well, that, that'll, yeah, that, that'll be tricky, although that's a digital element. They, don't, they won't have to draw that by hand. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Technology, I like it. Yeah, it's the future already. And did you also design Mr. Cold? I did, yes. <laughs> I know, I, I bet you like the bad guy. I do, I do. I, I'm rooting for him, big yep. time. They wanted something sort of... Um, Evil? Definitely. <laughs> also sort of like, um, you know, militaristic, but from the other side. So a little bit communist, a little bit Nazi. Um, uh, you know, you have a bit of a military look here. You know what I'm talking about. Right, um, it's a totally evil thing. A know? little bit Alan Rickman. A little bit, um, I can't remember the actor's name, Richard Harris' son from Mad Men, I can't remember, Jared Harris? Jared Harris. So those were some of the influences they gave me. Um, what else? And you, did, you gave him a little boo-boo on the eye. He has, cool. he has the lens, the gold, gold eyepiece. The Mr. Gold in the, in the original, um, it was a pretty simple design, there's not a lot on the, you know. He, he, he wasn't very uh, tricked out the way we, we kind of exaggerate a lot. Right, but he's not going to be like Gord member. He's not going to paint people's you who Gord. He is not from Belgium. Or Holland. Holland. Sorry, one. wrong bad guy. I'm from Belgium. I know, you're standing right in front of Bruce. me. I got mixed up. Right.